YouTube. Welcome back to Casey's Garage. Yeah, so today we're going to work on the uh, front end here. We got the hood latches or the hood hinges in, so we're going to get the hood installed. Put some test fitment on the front panels and see if we can get everything kind of buttoned together today. So Chocolate Lover is going to help me remove this hood off real quick and then we'll uh, go ahead and get started. Watch out, coming your way. One out. Do the driver's side hood latch first. Yeah, it did bend up a little bit. Let's see where it was. Alright guys, so now we have the hinges replaced. We're going to try to pick up the hood and get it back on the uh, car and see if Chocolate Lover can thread in the bolts for me. Think you can do it? Can you show your muscle? Let's do it. There you go. Yeah, push the latch up against the hood. There you go. Wait. Oh no, 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 no! No. That's the last thing you want to do. That's why I had to go to the parts store yesterday and get us with the bolt, because I did the same thing. Drop that. YouTube dropped another bolt all right so I guess our camera overheated is sitting on the tailgate here in the Sun and uh, they automatically shut down and then I had a temperature warning so let me show you what we got we have the hood installed to the hood hinges that we just put on now I need to go find what I did with the uh, bar here that latches it down and uh, then we'll uh, start test fitting all the rest of the panels all right so now we have the hood release cable hooked up putting the hood latch back on and then we'll see if the hood closes think it'll close yeah Think it'll open again? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it's right. I hope so. Alright. Tell you what, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go pull the handle. Okay. Watch this for me. Tell me if it moves. Put the camera on there too if you want to. Tell me if you see me. Shuts. Okay. Pull down. Oh, my, 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 
wires. Yeah, probably. Oh, we don't have the the pole on there. What does that mean? Oops. <laughs> we don't have the catch pole. Uh -uh. That was dumb. See, it gets hot like this, I can't think. <laughs> of course, I can't think in the first place, so getting hot just doesn't help. We need to find the pole for that. Okay. There's a little, you know what I'm talking about? There's a little pole that goes here. And then it catches on when you close it, it latches into there. So let's go find that real quick. I don't know if these bolts are. Let's see. Now, I'm going to drop it. it okay, let's out. try this again. Sell it. <laughs> I think it needs a few more things. Let's see if it opens again. Ready? Yeah. Yay! All right, everything works like it should. There we go. Well, that's a step forward. So now, what we need to do is put these bumper brackets onto the new bumper. Okay. So let's get this tailgate cleaned up and ready, and we'll do that. Okay. All right, so now I need to put a couple rivets into these new bumper brackets. They go right here on the new bumper, and then the fenders bolt down onto that. So I need to put two rivets into this. I've never used this before. Ordered this off Amazon. It's a Textron rivet gun kit. Okay, I hope it works. Well, let's find out. Supposedly, just put that in there like so. And... Put this in place. Oh. Like so. Now I need to do is get a clamp. That I spent. Alright, so I'm going to put a little C-clamp on here to hold the two pieces together. While I... Put the rivets in. Looks like this is going to be another two day video, or maybe three days, we'll see. Because the rivets I have are not long enough to go through both pieces of plastic, so we'll have to go to the store and get some new ones. And uh, try this again later, so should we call it quits for the day? Okay. It's hot. Yeah. 2,000 years later. Alright, so tip number three to get these rivets done. The gun I was using yesterday, uh, it's jammed up, quit working, so I had to go out to the store and grab another. And uh, so hopefully this time be a success and we can finally get these brackets where they need to go. There we go, looks good. Yeah. <sighs> 
this gun is working a lot better. Now let's do the other side. So now it's time to go ahead and get the bumper back on the car and we'll start uh, passing up the fenders and, and we'll see how everything fits together. Okay, so I'm going to take all this off real quick and kind of look at this headlight for a little bit. And the battery is about to die on the camera, so I'll get it switched out and then I'll be right back. A few moments later. Meaning that down here on the top has been up just a little bit. Once I beat that down, now all the screws seem to go into the headlight. Let's see how the bumper looks. Oh, that's a lot better. That's a good fit. So there's a little bit of a space the headlight and the fender column here, what do you want to call this? I think it might be just because the grill's not on there, so it's not pushing it over. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the replacement grill and throw it on and see what it looks like. Remember where I put it. Yeah, it seemed to help a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more. All right, so yeah, guys, it looks pretty good. Still a little bit of a gap here. This headlight needs to tuck behind. Here, I'll show you here. Right here, the edge of the headlight, that needs to go behind the plastic just a little bit. So I'm going to take this bumper back off and adjust these brackets, bumper brackets a little bit, and uh, we'll see if we can get to fit up tighter. Other than that, though, it looks really good. Fender looks a lot better. It was lapping way down here, and now it's right where it needs to be. So we're really close. And I'm just going to go ahead and start beating on this a little bit more and uh, go from there. was actually bent right here it's bolt out a little bit from back when I was pulling on this to pull it out I didn't realize that so I straighten that back out I have to touch the paint up a little bit so it doesn't rust uh, but yeah I think that bent that straightened it a little bit so we'll see if that works 
All right, guys, so before I start yanking on this core support, I'm just kind of getting the fender kind of in place, checking the gaps. There's a bracket that actually goes on the inside of this fender that holds it up tighter. But uh, the gap between the door and the fender looks pretty good. I think the fender, even though it's a new fender, it's bent down right here. Probably from shipping, so I just need to bend that up. But the gap looks good. Because if we go over, so if we go over to the blue car, there's the gap on it. There we go. So open the door. It doesn't rub at all. Looks pretty good. Alright. All right, guys, so this is going to be a wrap for this episode. Um, I apologize I didn't get too much footage of the uh, me bending on the car. I didn't realize my battery on my GoPro died. I thought I'd give the GoPro another try. I've been using my phone lately, but I didn't like how the phone was focusing on the last couple of videos. So I figured I'd give this 4K uh, GoPro Hero 6 Black another try, and I had nothing but battery issues again. So... Anyhow, uh, the camera shut off in the middle of me bending and pulling and beating on the core support, straightening it out, but I did get it straightened out, and uh, I'll walk around the car and uh, show you um, the gaps. I haven't aligned the hood quite yet, but I have the fenders looking pretty good with the doors, and I have the bolts all lining up in the headlight, and I also fixed the gaps here between the headlight and the a little column here on the bumper so everything is looking pretty good it's coming together uh nicely and hopefully we'll get this thing painted pretty quick so let me show you what we have so far all right so yeah the gap is fixed it's nice and tight fender looks good all around now i don't have the brackets connected or i don't have the bumper connected yet to the uh to the fender i ran out of daylight but everything else is in place same thing over here and I might scoot this fender back just a little bit the gaps a little bit wider and I think what I like but for the most part it looks pretty good guys thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time